get out to the field, do what I love. As long as I'm out here, I don't care where I end up. Big old buck on the ground, but I had a heart attack. Can't wait to tell the boys back at the bone shack. Bring it on back, bring it on back to the bone shack. Bring it on back, bring it on back to the bone shack. It's got antlers on the wall, rusty old nails. You can sit and listen to the stories you can tell. Listen about the one that got away. With a big old rack Can't wait to hear the story From the bone shack Bring it on back Bring it on back To the bone shack Bring it on back Bring it on back To the bone shack Bring it on back to the bone shack. Two hours drive to meet Michael at Carmen's restaurant and the Helium Apache Outfitters office in Reserve, New Mexico. We got settled in at the lodge and hit it early the next morning. Spotting and stalking black bears in New Mexico ain't no easy task. Spent lots of time climbing the high vantage points, glassing big canyons, glassing feeding areas, acorns, prickly pears. But Michael, Brian, and myself all glassing different areas in these large canyons. We were able to cover more ground and move on to areas where we thought these bears would be at. 
After grassing for most of the morning, it was getting hot, so I decided to go sit some water holes while Brian and Michael decided to go scout some other areas and grass some hillsides with the spotting scopes while I set water. I just got set up on this water hole. There's some fresh bear sign right down there. Some nice tracks. Probably from yesterday. It's been real hot today, so we're hoping they're gonna come and hit this hole. There's a couple other holes up in here. They have dried up. One back here up above me. There's a little bit of water. Saw some nice mule deer up there. Three of them. Three bucks. Coming down the trail, we saw a doe. So stay tuned. We're gonna knock that bear down. We're gonna get it done. After covering lots of ground and glassing various areas, we decided to head back into camp, get some rest in the evening, and hit it again the next morning. Michael and Brian had glassed up some nice bears the day before while I set water. First thing the next morning, we headed back up to these high mountain peaks and see if we could find these bears they saw the night before. Four bears, and we decided we better uh capture this footage, it's gonna be some good stuff. There's one over here, and three over here, and those are just the ones we see. So we should be done here in about an hour. Well, let's hope we are. We feel pretty good about the hunt. We'll keep y'all posted, but we're gonna start hiking in and get up on top of this mountain here and see if we can spot these bears and, and get one down. Okay, hurry up, let's go. You ready, Johnny? I'm ready, man. Let's go knock them down, buddy. Okay. At this point in my hunt, we had glassed up a couple of nice black bears and had to walk up to a nice vantage point to see which one we wanted to pursue. After reaching the top and glassing for the better bear, sat down and decided on a game plan on how we should approach these animals. Got a bear spotted. It's getting some rain though. He should be coming up right here in front of us. I originally wanted to harvest a bear with my bow, but with various unsuccessful stock opportunities, we decided to set up on the opposing ridge from this bear. We were about 600 yards away when we spotted him and moved closer distance to about 380 yards for a shot opportunity with my rifle. My first shot was low. I corrected myself, held over as a bear tried to run to the other side of the ridge, and made a clean shot. Oh yeah, good job. Right on. Huh? 
He made it about 50 yards over the ridge down to a ravine. And there's where he collapsed. Yeah. Got it done. We love Hatchy Outfitters and Guys, Bone Shack Outdoors. These guys are great. Had a great weekend out here with these guys. Great hospitality. Missed a bear earlier today. These guys really know what they're doing, man. They got me on three or four bears this afternoon and finally closed the deal. Great job, John. I had a great time hunting with my friends Michael and Brian at Reserve New Mexico. For any of New Mexico big game hunting adventures, be sure to look up Gila Apache Outfitters and Guides in Reserve New Mexico. On my way to a vantage point, I crossed paths with the raghorn bull. Figuring there was bigger in the area, I decided to pass him up, hoping to find the herd deeper in the canyon. Sure enough, as soon as I got to the vantage point, I spotted a herd with a much larger bull clear at the bottom of the canyon. Considering the depth of their location and the sun being below the horizon, the rational choice was to leave them till the morning. On the way out, I came across that original raghorn as well as another. I figured it best to throw out a few calls just in case there was something else in here worth pursuing. Without a definite yardage and a bigger bull spotted, I opted to pass on this opportunity, so I took off the solid cam strap to zoom in for some close-up footage. The herd was invisible first thing in the morning, but bugles echoing out of the canyon indicated they were just out of sight.
considering the wind direction, I made my way down the back side of the ridge to come up from below. After moving into position, and several cow calls later, I decided to challenge him with a couple bugles, which got him all fired up. that long. as big as I thought he was, but pretty hard to pass up that opportunity. He was staring me down at 14 yards. That was cool.
go. It's definitely the herb ball down there. Must have been six different bowls down in there. Made yeah, just a perfect shot. A little bit of shade, be good for quarter amount. Almost a six point, but dang, it's pretty heavy for, for what he is, really. Five by six. Cool. Head out to the field, doing what I love. As long as I'm out here, I don't care. I end up big old bucks on the ground.